Welcome to the stream, boys. Uh, we're going to my brother's apartment. We're going to order some food and we're going to play some board games and card games. All right. So should we just mix these new ones in with the old ones? Should we just try the original one first or? They're all, the, it's all the same idea. Okay. Like you just play the same way. Are some of these weird though? Yes, they're all very weird. My son's husband's huge cock. Yeah. Huh? Basically That's the wild card funny. in this game. All right. Alternative medicine is now embracing the curative powers of. Oh no. I know why they say it's like kind of that. Kind of racist? Uh-huh. Okay, just don't use that card. <laughs> or swap it. That's so sexual. Everything, you guys all are so sexual. <laughs> Alternative medicine is now embracing the curative powers of masturbation. Alternative Bye. medicine is now embracing the curative powers of a penis that gets too hard and explodes blood. <laughs> so. That sounds so painful. This is talking about alternative medicine, I think, in general, which in this case, I think masturbation wins this. Okay, here we go. I never truly understood blank until I encountered blank. So this you'd play two cards. Yes. I never truly understood this kid I found until I encountered a little taste of penis. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and finally, I never truly understood Dick Cheney until I encountered Dick Cheney? Half-assed foreplay. I'm I, going, I, I think the last two should have been backwards. You'd read it one more time, but backwards, see if it sounds better. I never truly sounds understood backwards. Half-assed foreplay yes, until correct. I encountered Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they all like the second one? Yeah, second one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going second one. Yeah. Who's second one? It's water. <laughs> what? 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 I thought she was going to be the worst of this. I'm sorry, professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of blank. No, you should read it one by one. Oh, like, sorry, sorry. that'd be funnier. I'm yeah. sorry, Dude. professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of four vegan shits. Four vegan shits? F O U L. Foul v vegan shits. Yes. Literally Foul Dustin's poops. I'm sorry, professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of letting this loser eat me out. Okay. Okay. Maybe I choose the shit. Yeah, the shit one's good. What's my secret power? Blank. All right, chat, here we go. What's my secret power? Oh, blue smoke coming out of my anus. <laughs> Damn, you read that like you were so excited about it. I'm trying to like role play here a little bit. What's my secret power? Beef. <laughs> All right, easy, it's blue smoke coming out of my anus. Who's is that? Nice. What? <laughs> God! Water's a pro! <laughs> Water three points. What has been making life difficult at the nudist colony? The Asshole Destroyer 3000. <laughs> the Asshole Destroyer 3000. It's like a robot. It's like a, it's like a machine maybe, or like an item. Oh, okay. For what? <laughs> Just destroy assholes. <laughs> Okay, oh. what has been making life difficult at the nudist colony? An ambitious woman who wears pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so good! Oh, that's, good. that's fucking good! Oh, yeah. What has it's been making so life good. difficult at the nudist colony? White people! <laughs> <laughs> White people! <laughs> oh my god, that's even better! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go with an ambitious woman who wears pants. Just I love cause, that. Just because it like yeah. goes with the theme, but like yeah, yeah. my heart says white people. <laughs> That's bullshit! They cannot fire me for! It's kinda easy. Alright, I got one. Okay, which one made me laugh? <laughs> it's basically like, which, which, which one made me laugh? Who submitted the easiest card? Okay, that's bullshit! You, they cannot fire me for my secret butt. Okay. My secret butt? Uh -huh. My secret butt. So you have two butts. Two butts. That's bullshit! They cannot fire me for having tuna sandwiches with my favorite honkies. <laughs> I said it's like kind of like a slang term for white people, but like yes, yeah, it could could be negative, but <laughs> not really. Having you in my favorite hunkies. That's bullshit. They cannot fire me for maybe getting a little involved in selling heroin. 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 Sometimes. Halloween. Yeah. <clears throat> the... No. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it for you. All right. It says. That's bullshit. They can't fire me for maybe getting a little involved in selling heroin sometimes. Well, we, we know whose car that is. It's not even funny, Jake. Whatever, dude. Where did I 
I'm gonna go th with this one, the the tuna sandwich. With, with your one. favorite honkies? Yes. I'm sorry. In a world ravaged by blank, our only solace is blank. This is a good one. Hopefully. In a world ravaged by a magician fucking up over and over again, our only solace is Bimpy, the small styrofoam ball we all jack off into. <laughs> <laughs> That's your thing. <laughs> In a world ravaged by overcompensation, oh, our only God. solace is a micro penis. That actually makes a lot of sense, right? I'm going the magician and Bimpy the the small. <laughs> but the second one is so good; it makes it so is. much sense. Who's Who's Bimpy? I'm Bimpy. Jinx. I got 99 problems, but a blank ain't one. Well, you have four, Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have four, yeah. Dude, Jake's one away from winning. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna win this one. Guaranteed. No way. Guaranteed. All right, let's go. I got 99 problems, but a smiling black man, a Latina businesswoman, and a cool Asian and some whites ain't one. Oh my God. What was that? I guess by definition, they aren't one. I got 99 problems, but my vagina ain't one. Very nice. I got 99 problems, but dating a Republican ain't one. Choose wisely, Ed. Dating a Republican. No oh, way! Wow. Thank you, Ed! You like it? Wow! Three-way tie right now. Right. It's a game point for me, Tim Water, and Ed has zero, unfortunately. <laughs> but, big comeback. Oh, this is easy. I drink to forget blank. Poopy diapers. <laughs> I drink to forget daddy issues. Daddy? Daddy issues. Like, you have a problem with your dad when you're young. Oh! Right? Growing up. Also very good and probably very relatable for everyone in the chat. All right, number two. Yes! Daddy issues. We're coming back! Yay! It makes, we're yeah, coming back! Poopy Opry's got a quick- Let's go! It got a quick laugh, but- Yeah, yeah, I know. This just makes the most sense to me. Everyone in the chat can relate, boys. What did the US airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? An 800 foot long pool noodle. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that is? It's She said it was a really long noodle, like a real noodle. <laughs> the big, like, pink thing that goes in the pool and it floats, you float, like the, the noodle that you float in the pool. You like oh, that's saving you the stuff? Yeah, yeah. If Same, you cannot yeah. swim. Oh, that's just yeah. for fun, you, you play with the it. Suit? Kid, you like a floating toy. toy. Floating toy. I think the noodle is more fun. <laughs> a regular noodle would also <laughs> be cool. Yeah. noodle. What did the US airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? This incredible Gary, he'll suck your nipples. <laughs> Wait, what? the incredible Gary. Incredible what, Gary? The incredible Gary. <laughs> suck your nipples. Ga what is Gary? It's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just some guy. <laughs> here I am. Gary's here. A guy named Gary suck your nipple? Yeah. Oh my god. That's good. And finally, what did the US <laughs> airdrop the children of Afghanistan? Poor people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This is a hard one. It's the incredible Gary. Oh yes, god. Gary, you no, come back to your nipples. Blank. Good till the last drop. Like, I'm still thinking about the Gary. Gary. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have dreams about Gary tonight. Dad, babies. Good to the last drop. Are you gonna cry? What is it? Dead babies. Good to the last drop. That's not funny. This is like the last drop of the juice, right? <laughs> yeah. The water or something like that. Like or dead babies in this case. I'm gonna choose the first one. Yes. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yay! Still alive, baby. Shit. Really? So it's a fully tied game. This is a tied game, right? So we do, but maybe we let the chat be the dealer. Yeah. <clears throat> and then chat will also decide. All right. Here's the final card that chat is going to decide. In a pinch, blank can be a suitable substitute. For blank. I'm gonna mix them up for you guys. Right. I'm gonna read them. I'm gonna put them in front of the camera because you guys obviously can't read. And then uh, chat, you'll decide one, two, three, or four on who is gonna win this. Make sure. In a pinch, a ball of earwax, semen, and toenail clippings can be a suitable substitute for Melania Trump. Melania Trump. In a pinch, <laughs> licking things to claim them as your own can be a suitable substitute for Viagra. Licking things to claim them Sorry? as your own. In a pinch, fiery poops can be a suitable substitute 
for fingering each other's buttholes. <laughs> a fleshlight can be a suitable substitute for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. What is All it? All right, fiery in a pinch. Fiery poops can be a substitute for fingering each other's buttholes. Water? Water? Why does the poop one always win? one percent. Water one. Damn, half the chat voted number three. Because Water it, one. It, it's because that makes sense, right? Like if, if like uh, if you want to like the, the this and you just poop. <laughs> All right, chat, say goodbye to Edward oh, and to Tim Timothy. Bye, guys. GG's. Oh, my God.